Think about the secret you're looking for. We all have secrets we search for. That one elusive piece of wisdom or strategy that will make everything click. I remember when I was young, I was always curious, always searching. I wanted to know what made successful people different. What was their secret? Why did they achieve so much while others struggled? I used to think there must be some hidden magical formula, something only a few knew and the rest of us were missing. The truth is there's a secret, but it's not hidden and it's not magical. It's practical and straightforward. It's about understanding a few simple principles and applying them consistently. It's about recognizing that success is not about luck or talent alone. It's about attitude, philosophy, and activity. It's about doing the right things consistently day in and day out. Can let me ask you a question. How many of you have ever set a goal, started working towards it, and then lost steam halfway through? Be honest. It's happened to me too. Why does this happen? Why does this happen? Why do we lose momentum? Why do we give up? The answer lies in understanding the real secret of success. It's not enough to know what to do. You must also understand why you're doing it and commit to doing it every single day. <laughs> How do you feel about your future? Are you excited? Are you hopeful? Are you worried, anxious, uncertain? Your attitude towards the future will shape your actions today. If you believe in the promise of the future, you'll take bold steps. If you doubt it, you'll hesitate. And hesitation, my friends, is the enemy of progress. How do you feel about yourself? Do you believe in your own worth? You believe you have what it takes to succeed? Self-worth is the foundation of all achievement. If you don't believe in yourself, who will? If you don't think you can, you won't even try. But if you believe in your potential, you'll find ways to make things happen. Let me share a practical piece of advice. When you're looking for the secret to success, start by looking at your daily habits. Success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. And failure is simply a few errors in judgment repeated every day. It's the cumulative effect of our daily choices that determines our future. You don't have to make massive changes all at once. Start small. Choose one thing you could do differently today. Maybe it's reading a few pages of a good book, taking a walk, or reaching out to someone you admire. Small changes consistently applied lead to big results. I want you to take this away. The secret you're looking for isn't out there in some distant place. It's right here in the way you think, in the way you act, in the way you approach each day. You have the power to change your life one decision at a time, one day at a time. The secret to success is within you. It's in your mindset, in your daily actions, in your commitment to continuous improvement. Embrace it, apply it, and watch your life transform. Thank you for being here, and let's make the most of our time. Your personal philosophy is the way you see the world, the way you think about life, and the principles that guide your actions is like the set of your sail. If your sail is set correctly, the same winds that blow on everyone else will take you to success. If it's not, you'll find yourself drifting, struggling to make progress. I learned about the importance of personal philosophy the hard way. Uh, when I was 25, my life was a mess. I had dropped out of college, I was broke, and I was embarrassed about the promises I had made to my family that I couldn't keep. I thought I was doing everything right. I, I was working hard. I was showing up. I was trying my best. But I was going nowhere fast. Then I met a man who changed my life. He was wealthy, successful, and most importantly, he had a way of thinking that was completely different from mine. He told me, Jim, if you want things to change, you have to change. If you want things to get better, you have to get better. At first, I didn't understand what he meant. But as I spent more time with him, I began to see that my philosophy, the way I saw the world and my place in it, was holding me back. One of the first things he taught me was that success is not something you pursue. 
It's something you attract by the person you become. I realized that my life was the way it was because of my own choices and actions, not because of bad luck or external circumstance. This was a tough pill to swallow. It meant I had to take full responsibility for my life, but it also meant I had the power to change it. What is your personal philosophy? How do you see the world? Do you believe that you can create your own destiny or do you think that life happens to you? The answers to these questions will determine your future more than anything else. Start keeping a journal. Write down your thoughts, your goals, your plans, reflect on your day. What did you do well? What could you do better? This simple habit will help you become more aware of your thoughts and actions, and it will guide you in developing a stronger personal philosophy. Another important change in my philosophy is about money. I used to think that making money was about working hard and getting a good job. But my mentor taught me that profits are better than wages. Wages make you a living. Profits make you a fortune. This was a revelation to me. I began to look for opportunities to create value and earn profits instead of just working for a paycheck. I started a small business and over time my financial situation improved dramatically. Think about your own beliefs about money. Do you see it as something that's hard to come by or do you see it as a tool that you can use to create the life you want? Your beliefs about money will shape your financial future more than any job or investment. So how do you see failure? Do you see it as a sign that you're not good enough or do you see it as a valuable teacher? Changing your attitude towards failure can make all the difference in your journey to success. Who are you spending your time with? Are they lifting you up or dragging you down? Your environment has a powerful influence on your personal philosophy, so choose your company wisely. Your personal philosophy is the foundation of your success. It's the lens through which you see the world, and it shapes every decision you make. By taking responsibility for your life, investing your time wisely, changing your beliefs about money and failure, and surrounding yourself with positive influences, you can develop a strong personal philosophy that will lead you to success. Remember, the secret you're looking for is not out there somewhere. It's within you. It's in the way you think, the way you act, and the way you live each day. Embrace this truth and watch your life transform. Thank you for being here, and let's continue this journey of discovery together. Let's dive into another crucial element for success. Your attitude, the way you feel about yourself, your circumstances, and the people around you plays a massive role in determining your outcomes. A positive attitude is like a magnet for good. It opens doors, creates opportunities, and attracts success. On the other hand, a negative attitude can close doors, repel opportunities, and breed failure. Think about this. How do you react when things don't go your way? Do you get frustrated, blame others, or feel defeated? Or do you see setbacks as learning opportunities and challenges as stepping stones? Your attitude in these moments determines your resilience and your ability to bounce back stronger. How many of you have ever had a day where everything seemed to go wrong? We've all been there, right? Now think about how you responded to that day. Did you let it ruin your mood and productivity or did you decide to stay positive and make the best of it? Your attitude is a choice and that choice can transform your experiences. How can you cultivate a winning attitude? Here are a few practical tips. First, practice gratitude. Start each day by acknowledging the good things in your life. It's hard to have a negative attitude when you're focused on what you're thankful for. Second, surround yourself with positive influences. Spend time with people who uplift and inspire you. Their energy will rub off on you. Third, take care of your physical health. Exercise eat well, and get enough sleep. A healthy body supports a positive mind. Finally, challenge negative thoughts. 
When you catch yourself thinking negatively, stop and reframe those thoughts. Look for the silver lining and focus on solutions rather than problems. Remember, your attitude is like a muscle. The more you work on it, the stronger it gets. And a strong, positive attitude can carry you through the toughest times and help you achieve extraordinary things. Let's talk about the importance of taking action. A positive attitude is powerful, but it's not enough on its own. You need to back it up with disciplined action. Success is not a matter of luck. It's a matter of effort. It's about doing the right things consistently, even when you don't feel like it. I've often said that success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. This idea might sound simple, but it's incredibly powerful. And small, consistent actions lead to big results over time. Let me share a story to illustrate this point. There was a man who wanted to improve his health. Instead of overhauling his entire lifestyle overnight, he started with one simple discipline, walking for 15 minutes every day. At first, it didn't seem like much, but he stuck with it. Gradually, he started to feel better, and he added more healthy habits to his routine. A year later, he had lost weight, gained energy, and transformed his health. It all started with a small, consistent action. Think about your own life. What small actions can you start today that will lead to big results over time? Maybe it's reading for 10 minutes each day, making one more sales call, or spending a few minutes planning your day. These small actions might seem insignificant on their own, but over time, they add up to significant progress. What is one thing you can focus on that will have the biggest impact on your success? Identify it, commit to it, and take disciplined action every day. Remember, success is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's about the small steps you take consistently over time. Positive attitude and disciplined action are the keys to achieving your goals. By cultivating a winning attitude and taking small, consistent actions, you can create the life you want. It's not always easy, but it's always worth it. Believe in yourself, stay focused, and keep moving forward. The secret to your success is within you, and it starts with the choices you make each day. We've talked about the importance of your personal philosophy and attitude, and we've discussed the power of disciplined action. Now let's turn our attention to something that ties it all together, goals. Setting and achieving goals is one of the most powerful tools you have at your disposal. Goals provide the promise of the future. They give your life direction and motivation. Without them, it's easy to drift aimlessly, but with them, you have a roadmap to success. How many of you have set goals before? Keep your hands up if you wrote them down. Now, keep your hands up if you reviewed them regularly. You see, there's a difference between having a vague idea of what you want and setting clear written goals. Writing your goals down is the first step in making them real. Think about your own life for a moment. Do you have clear written goals? Do you know exactly what you want to achieve in the next year, the next five years, the next 10 years? If not, now is the time to start. Goals provide the direction and motivation. You need to keep moving forward even when things get tough. Here's a story to illustrate this point. There was a study conducted on a group of Harvard graduates. They were asked if they had written goals and plans to achieve them. Only three had written goals. Thirteen had goals, but not written down. And the rest had no specific goals at ten years later. The same group was surveyed again. The three who had written goals were earning ten times more than the other ninety signed sign kind. That's the power of setting clear written goals. Now, let me give you some practical tips on how to set effective goals. Be specific. Don't just say, I want to lose weight or I want to be rich. Instead, say, I want to lose 20 pounds by December 31st, or I want to earn $100,000 by the end of this year. The more specific you are, the clearer your target becomes. Make your goals measurable. You need to be able to 
track your progress and know when you've achieved your goal. If your goal is to increase your sales, specify by how much. If your goal is to save money, specify how much and by when. Measurable goals give you a way to stay accountable and motivated. Set a deadline. A goal without a deadline is just a dream. Deadlines create a sense of urgency and help you prioritize your actions. When you know you have a limited amount of time to achieve something, you're more likely to stay focused and avoid procrastinating. Rake your goals down into smaller manageable steps. Sometimes big goals can feel overwhelming, but if you break them down into smaller tasks, they become much more achievable. For example, if your goal is to write a book, start by setting a goal to write one page a day. Over time, those small steps add up to big results. Let me ask you another question. Have you ever set a goal and then forgotten about it? It happens to all of us. That's why it's important to review your goals regularly. Keep them somewhere visible, on your desk, on your bathroom mirror, on your phone. Review them daily. Remind yourself of what you're working towards and adjust them as needed. This constant reinforcement keeps your goals top of mind and keeps you motivated. Let's talk about the motivation that comes from setting goals. Goals give you something to strive for, something to get excited about. They turn mundane tasks into meaningful steps towards your dreams. When you wake up in the morning with a clear sense of purpose, it changes everything. You have a reason to get out of bed, a reason to push through challenges, a reason to keep going when things get tough. One of the most powerful techniques for goal setting is visualization. Take a few minutes each day to visualize yourself achieving your goals. Imagine what it will feel like, what it will look like, what it will mean for your life. This mental rehearsal creates a powerful connection between your current actions and your future success. It keeps you motivated and focused, even when the going gets tough. What are your goals? What do you want to achieve in the next year, the next five years, the next 10 years? Take some time today to write them down. Be specific, make them measurable, set a deadline, and break them down into smaller steps. Review them regularly and visualize your success. Remember, the promise of the future is in your hands, and it starts with the goals you set today. Goals provide the direction and motivation. You need to create the life you want. By setting clear written goals, you give yourself a roadmap to success. By breaking them down into manageable steps and reviewing them regularly, you stay focused and motivated. And by visualizing your success, you create a powerful connection between your present actions and your future achievements. We've talked about many essential elements for success, such as personal philosophy, attitude, action, goals, and learning. Now, let's discuss a topic that is just as crucial, relationships. The people you surround yourself with have a profound impact on your personal and professional growth. They can either lift you up or pull you down. So it's vital to choose your associations wisely. But who are the five people you spend the most time with? Take a moment to think about them. You know, are they positive, motivated, and successful, or are they negative, complacent, and struggling? Your answer will give you a good indication of your current trajectory. If you want to change your life, sometimes you need to change your associations. Choosing the right associations is not about being elitist or cutting people off without reason. It's about being mindful of the influence others have on you. Surround yourself with people who inspire you, challenge you, and support your goals. Seek out mentors who have achieved what you aspire to achieve. Join groups or communities where people are focused on growth and improvement. These positive influences will help you stay motivated, provide valuable insights, and hold you accountable. But it's not just about finding the right people. It's also about building and maintaining valuable connections. Relationships, like anything worthwhile, require effort and investment. 
You need to be proactive in reaching out, staying in touch, and offering support. One of the best ways to build strong relationships is by adding value. Be genuinely interested in others, listen to their stories, and offer help when you can. When you invest in others, you build trust and create a network of mutual support. Let me give you some practical tips on building and maintaining valuable connections. First, be a good listener. People appreciate when you take the time to listen to their concerns, dreams, and ideas. It shows that you value them and their experiences. Second, be generous with your time and resources. Share your knowledge, offer help, and, and connect people who can benefit from knowing each other. Generosity builds goodwill and strengthens relationships. Third, be consistent. Relationships are not built overnight. They require regular effort. Make it a habit to reach out to your connections regularly, whether it's through a phone call, an email, or a coffee meeting. Consistency shows that you care and that you're reliable. Fourth, be authentic. People can sense when you're not being genuine. Be yourself, be honest, and don't try to be someone you're not. Authenticity builds deeper, more meaningful connections. Now let's talk about the impact of negative associations. Just as positive relationships can lift you up, Negative ones can drag you down. If you're constantly surrounded by negativity, it will be challenging to stay positive and motivated. It's important to recognize toxic relationships and address them. This doesn't mean you have to cut people off entirely, but you may need to set boundaries and limit your exposure to their negativity. I remember a time when I had a friend who was always pessimistic. No matter what the situation, he found something to complain about. Spending time with him drained my energy and dampened my spirits. I realized that his negativity was affecting my mindset, so I decided to spend less time with him. It wasn't easy, but it was necessary for my own growth. Over time, I surrounded myself with more positive influences, and it made a world of difference. So how do you choose the right associations and build valuable connections? Start by evaluating your current relationships. Who are the people who inspire you, challenge you, and support you? Who are the ones who drain your energy and bring you down? Be honest with yourself about the impact these relationships have on your life. Take action to strengthen the positive relationships and address the negative ones. Reach out to people you admire and ask for their guidance. Join groups or organizations where you can meet like-minded individuals. Be proactive in building new connections and maintaining existing ones. Remember, relationships are a two-way street. It's not just about what others can do for you, but also what you can do for others. Be a source of support, encouragement, and inspiration. When you invest in others, you create a network of mutual growth and success. We've covered many essential topics today, and now I want to delve into something that lies at the very heart of personal and professional success, self-worth. Understanding and enhancing your self-worth is crucial because it forms the foundation of your confidence, your motivation, and your ability to achieve great things. How do you feel about yourself? Are you confident in your abilities? Do you believe you deserve success? Your answers to these questions are critical because they reflect your self-worth. If you don't believe in yourself, it's tough to convince others to believe in you. Self-worth is about recognizing your value and embracing your uniqueness. So how do you understand and enhance your self-worth? It starts with self-awareness. Take a moment to reflect on your strengths, your achievements, and the unique qualities that make you who you are. Everyone has something valuable to offer, but often we overlook our own worth because we're too focused on our shortcomings. Instead, shift your focus to your strengths. What are you good at? What have you accomplished that you're proud of? Celebrate those things. Let me share a story. Early in my career, I was invited to speak at a small event. I was nervous and unsure of myself, but I remembered my mentor's advice and decided to focus on my strengths. I spoke from the heart, shared my experiences, and connected with the audience. 
To my surprise, the response was overwhelmingly positive. That experience boosted my confidence and reinforced my belief in my own worth. It taught me that when you believe in yourself, others will too. Now let's talk about the link between self-worth and achievement. When you believe in your own worth, you're more likely to set ambitious goals and pursue them with determination. You're willing to take risks, push through challenges, and stay committed to your vision. On the other hand, if you doubt your worth, you're more likely to settle for less, give up easily, and avoid stepping out of your comfort zone. Self-worth fuels your drive to achieve and sustain success. Have you ever held back from pursuing something because you didn't feel worthy or capable? Maybe it was a job opportunity, a business idea, or a personal goal. What would have happened if you believed in yourself and went for it? The truth is your self-worth sets the ceiling for your achievements. The higher your self-worth, the higher you'll aim and the more you'll accomplish. So how can you boost your self-esteem and confidence? Here are some practical exercises to help you get started. Practice positive self-talk. Pay attention to the way you talk to yourself. Are you encouraging and supportive or are you critical and harsh? Replace negative self-talk with positive affirmations. For example, instead of saying, I can't do this, say I am capable and I can handle this, positive self-talk can significantly impact your confidence and mindset. Set and achieve small goals. Success breeds success. Start by setting small achievable goals that align with your strengths each time you achieve a goal, it boosts your confidence and reinforces your belief in your own abilities. Over time, these small victories build a strong foundation of self-worth. Surround yourself with positive influences. Spend time with people who uplift and support you. Their positive energy will rub off on you and help you see your own worth more clearly. Avoid negative influences that drain your energy and undermine your confidence. Take care of yourself. Self-worth is closely tied to self-care. When you prioritize your physical, emotional, and mental well-being, you send a powerful message to yourself that you are worth taking care of. Eat well, exercise, get enough sleep, and engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Challenge yourself. Step out of your comfort zone and take on new challenges. Each time you overcome a challenge, it boosts your confidence and expands your sense of what's possible. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure is a part of growth, and each failure brings valuable lessons that contribute to your self-worth. Practice gratitude. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have. It helps you appreciate your strengths, your achievements, and the positive aspects of your life. Each day, take a few moments to reflect on what you're grateful for. This simple practice can have a profound impact on your self-worth and overall outlook on life. Understanding and enhancing your self-worth is the core of confidence and achievement. By recognizing your value, embracing your strengths, and taking practical steps to boost your self-esteem, you can unlock your full potential. Remember, your self-worth is not determined by others. It's determined by you. Believe in yourself, take care of yourself, and never stop striving to be the best version of yourself. The secret to your success lies within you, and it starts with recognizing your own worth.